Hey YouTube, ZK Master Tech again. Customer called in with a brand new 8RX410 that just lost all hydraulic functions. So we're en route to go look at the tractor right now. It's a brand new tractor, so who knows what we're gonna find. See what codes we got in here. Planner codes. Planner codes. We got all kinds of stuff. That could be a problem right there. Okay, so the machine had a bunch of codes as you guys could see, but a lot of them were for the planner um, MMC, BMC codes. And what I think it is, is this planner's two years old and we put it on a brand new tractor that has brand new software for our uh, VTV, which is our server that communicates with our display. So we're gonna go ahead and, and reprogram the, uh, the PMC controller and see if our codes go away. Right, we're plugged into the diagnostic port on the planner. We are currently putting software on it. Let's go ahead and shut the power off for 120 seconds. Seems like we got our problem fixed. I'm not getting the codes back I had previously before. I think we got this bad boy fixed. Got a quick update on the 8RX. Uh, last, yesterday evening, I went ahead and I put that planner software on, as you guys can see. Um, it made things better. Um, the customer was able to go out and plant last night just fine. Um, but we're still getting some random communication codes, either from the planner or from the tractor. and. Like I said, they're just random. You can't ever you know, pinpoint down a problem. So I'm leaning towards an issue with a gateway controller on the tractor. And what a gateway controller is, is a controller that is tied into both CAN buses, the implement bus and the vehicle CAN bus. So we've got an MTG controller, the roof controller, and the Gen 4 processor uh, server that is a gateway controller. So. This morning I'm going to go ahead and update the roof controller because it's the only software available for this machine. So we're going to go ahead and roll that out, put new software on the roof because the roof controller is tied into our implement can and all, all our AMS components in the roof. So um, we're going to try that 
that doesn't fix it, then we're gonna unplug the MTG controller, which is a recommendation from DTAC, and see what it does. And then <clears throat> if that doesn't work, we're probably gonna go in and try to um, debug the Gen 4 command center. Um, which they gave me a DTAC solution to follow in order to do that. And then they would also want the debug data files back that I would have to put on a flash drive and send it back to them. Um, so that's gonna take a lot of time, but right now the planner is working just fine. The customer really doesn't wanna stop, but since we got an open case on this tractor, we're gonna go ahead and do the easy fixes first. Um, Cause updating the, the rift controller and unplugging the MTG is not going to stop him from planting. So we're going to go ahead and do those easy fixes first. There she is. The tractor moved field, so I had to track this one down again. up our EDL in the diagnostic port. Get it lined up. There it goes. Got it up to my laptop and let's put this payload in. Okay, so we programmed the roof controller successfully. I'm just gonna see what codes we got. Wow, look at that. That's a first. All right, got the customer in the tractor. We are planting. It's a good day to plant beans. Yes, it is. like uh, everything's working. Yeah. Let's see this oh. I like it. I like it. Other than the bugs we had with the tractor, what's your what's your thoughts on this new 8RX Love versus it. an 8400 r it. It's quieter, more comfortable. Uh, the air ride it's, it just glides through the field. I, uh, it's definitely a step up from the, the 8400R. And um, uh, I will probably have them these as long as they'll have them. So the comfort's great. I like where the fridge is now. I like the seat and, um, you know, more advanced radio and all that Bluetooth crap. Pretty nice. The uh, seat, the ultimate seat. It's, Let, let's talk about that because that's a big improvement. Yeah, with the seat because now it's it's cooled, cool. it's heated, massaging. and massaging. Yep. So yep. how do you turn the massaging on? Are you it's are right you here. being massaged? So not right now. You got two different settings here. You've got uh, the, just different um, different yeah just different settings. You got one and two. Um, two does your back and your butt feels pretty good, and um, they've set the seat up like a car seat, 
where you've got your controls down here. Oh yeah. You know, to move everything forward and back, so it feels more like a car. That's a lot which nicer. Is nicer. Yeah. That's a huge improvement over all the mechanical levers and cables and yep. everything. But now we've got a lot more electronics in the seat too. Yes. Yep. More that can go wrong. <laughs> But you're nice and cozy, and you've yeah. got uh, pegs down here to kick yeah. your feet up on. Three different places here. I like the one on the side because yeah. you could. How far can you lean that seat to the right? Oh, quite a bit. I mean, all the way around here. I mean, it's, so it's you got can a really nice turn to it. You could sit it's almost sideways and have a good view of your all your monitors, your planner, and the tractor. Yep. That's probably one of my favorite features um, is the ability to swivel that much to the right yes because yep. after 16 hours around a tractor in the day it hurts your neck after a while looking back all the time yep so it's all about making the operator comfortable yep. and being able to run more hours and get more work done and not feel as tired at the end of the day which guidance helps a lot with that too guidance. It's, it's the, i like how they've redone the air vents everywhere they've got more vents they've got more it's, it's easier to keep cool in here and it's so quiet it's just quiet which is nice so does this thing have a premium sound with a subwoofer and everything it does yes oh man now we're goat roping this morning we got country on <laughs> <laughs> you know i'm a rock guy uh, <laughs> well, here we go with the 98.5 with classic rock i see i that's that's more like it with it a whole lot yet but uh, it's definitely a step up yeah this thing is awesome and it just glides it glides right across the field it's it does this ride it's a, it's a joy to drive we're just driving straight as an arrow and i'm sitting in a buddy seat and it has no suspension at all yeah and it's comfortable just sitting in it. Yeah. Yeah, they keep getting better and better. Well, this is how Sloan's customers do it best with John Deere. <laughs> We got the 8RX fixed. Um, we went about six or seven rounds in the field. Uh, no problems, no codes. The tractor hasn't missed a beat. Uh, thanks for watching the channel. I'm ZK Master Tech. I'll see you guys next time.